Okay, folks, welcome back to The Long Dark. This is uh, episode two, or chapter two, uh, part number five. And you join us in the middle of the night, which is why I've got the menu on the screen, so you can tell it's not just a blank uh, blank game screen. We're here in the middle of the night, uh, so we just need to sleep our way through till uh, morning. We're actually, uh, conditions actually a little bit low, so... Uh, I could do with uh, do with sleeping quite well. Bring that back up again. Uh, drinks fine, food's fine. So let's just jump into the bed. We are, by the way, for uh, oh blimey, I've completely lost. <laughs> I can't find the bed. It's too dark. There we are. Um, we are uh, exactly where we finished at the end of the last video. We are in the um, rail maintenance building. Not that you can tell. Uh, and we are going to go and have a look to see if we can find this uh, old hunting lodge. We have to sleep for a little bit longer. Uh, can we get enough calories kind of sleep for a bit longer? Yes, we have. That should be okay. If we do another three hours, that should bring our condition all the way back up, and we should get through till morning, I hope. And then we can think about. Yes, there we go. And we can think about having a little bit of food. I'm just going to eat a cattail stalk. Not to job. And we can now think about heading out and finding this uh, old hunting lodge, which is all the way north from where we are. Uh, so we need to come out of the back of the maintenance yard, go away from the railway line, and presumably we're going to have to go down to that bridge to cross, and then we're going to have to find our way up this mountain pass and all the way around here. So this is potentially... Surrounded by snow. Nothing to drink. Yes, we have. We have plenty of water. Uh, right, okay, so let us make our way forward. I'm stuck on something. There we go. Let's make our way out. I don't know if we can go out the back of here. I don't think we can. Is there a door? There is a door, but I don't think it's going to open. Oh, it will let us out. Uh, no, it won't. Okay. Okay, we can't get out that way, so we'll have to go back out through the way we came in. So let's go back this way. And we should go out through this door. Back out into the maintenance yard. And I'm really hoping the weather's okay. Because I don't fancy having to spend ages here waiting for the weather to improve. <laughs> oh! oh! Damn. Must have hit my head harder than I thought. Oh! <coughs> Okay. Well, that was a situation. Um, we have lights. There's also a wolf. By the looks of it, wandering around or something. Wolves. They are wolves wandering around outside with green noses. This isn't good. And there is the famous Long Dark Aurora. That is something that we kind of knew was going to be in the game. And there it is. After a cutscene that I wasn't expecting. We've got some wolves wandering about outside. I don't know if they can come in through that door and get to me. We've got flashes of light and flashes of computers and things working. I am minor, minor concern that uh, there's an awful lot of wolves outside. Seem to have been scared off rather easily. Okay, obviously it's now gone dark again. We can see the aurora really clearly. Oh shit! What the hell? Oh, I'm stuck. I can't actually move. Oh, I can move. They hate the light. They hate the light. They hate the light. Okay. The wolves don't like the light. Does that mean they're not going to attack me if I'm standing in the light? I wasn't expecting a puzzle element to the long dark, I have to be honest with me. So I've got wolves running around being affected by the aurora. They don't like the light, so I appear to be safe as long as I'm standing in the light. 
Oh, what's the betting? I'm gonna have to move. If the Aurora suddenly disappears though, I'm gonna be left. They are running, but they're not going away. There's a bit of a light... Uh... Okay. Let's make a sprint for this light. Whoa! Well, so much for them not liking the light. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to... Uh... Sorry, folks. I am being completely confused by what we're what we're dealing with here. This is an element that I was not expecting at all, and it is completely throwing me. Okay, so afflictions relatively healed. Let's move over to the next. I can't run. I have a sprained ankle. We've established that they don't like the light, so I'm safe so long as I'm standing in the light. Uh, I've got a sprained ankle though, which I'm going to have to deal with, but I, no, I do have painkillers. Okay, that's fine. I'll take those. Because so, I'm going to need to sprint, I think. I suppose I could have just slept. I suppose. I could have just slept, but I have a feeling the game isn't really going to let me. Okay, well we've made it back across out of the rail yard. The only problem is now I've kind of gone out of different way to the way I went in. And I don't really know where I'm going. Um, There's a flashing spotlight over there. Someone offers much protection, but I don't think there's any... I can't see any wolves. Let's take a risk. If I get jumped by a wolf now, I get really annoyed. Okay, we just need to drink. Let's drink. Okay, cool. What I could do is just... I'm going to eat another cattail stalk. Okay, so we're okay in the light. I can drop down... Okay, so this is the water's edge. So we are heading towards that hunting lodge. What is our current affliction? I can see we have an affliction. What is it? We have a sprained wrist. Okay, that's fine. What's the temperature? Minus 19, so it's quite cold, so we do get a shift on. I'm following these spotlights, which I think is what the game wants me to do. So I'm going to follow them. Yes, because it's lighting them up as I run around, look. So it obviously wants me to uh, follow these spotlights. Mildly concerned. There's a wolf over there. I don't have another spotlight to run to, and this one is uh, flickering a little bit. Okay, well. Traditional wolf repelling tactics, I believe. And not required. But I don't have another light to go to, so I'm a bit stuck at this point. Okay. Bit glitchy. Will they run away if I chuck this at them? That's the big question. And the answer is no, which is no problem because I can't get it back. Whoa! Uh oh. Oh, that was a big condition hit. Oh, and here's another one. Oh dear. That was a big condition hit. We're in real trouble here, I think. I think our days may be numbered. Uh, we have a hypothermia risk. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. No way on earth am I going to get a fire lit at the moment. Uh, I can't sleep without one though because it's too cold. I think we may well be reloading the last save here. This has not gone at all well. Okay, well, this has been an interesting start to this video, I have to say. There's a whole lot of stuff I just was not expecting. Things have taken a bit of an odd turn here in the long dark, which I really wasn't expecting. Well, we've managed to get, by the looks of things, a fire lit. 
So let's just chuck some fuel on it. <laughs> okay, that's giving me a three hour fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back this way. Okay, we need to eat. We need to get our bed rolled down. We might, 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 might be able to rescue this. One hour sleep. We might just be able to rescue this, but it's going to be tight. I've had to use an awful lot of my firewood. Oh, that's not really made any difference, has it? Let's eat something a bit more substantial. And let's chuck some more. Let's add some more fuel. Okay, I need to sleep for two hours. And cross our fingers. It's creeping up. It is creeping up. Various sprains and things have healed. The hypothermia risk is gone. Now, the only problem with this, of course, is that it has saved the game. So now, I haven't really got very much choice. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to make this work now. Let's eat a lot of food. And let's get this fire burning. Oh, I've had to use almost all my firewood. Okay, let's have a four hour sleep. See how much that brings our condition up. I think we're out of the red. We are back into the white. This is not ideal in any stretch of the imagination. Our fire is embers. Let's pick this up. We're not in a great, we're not in a great position at all here, but there's the bridge. So let's uh, make a bolt for it and see if we can get ourselves up and over the bridge. Oh, great. There's a there's a, a fence. Let me guess. I need a key. Oh, no. We have bolt cutters. So we can cut our way through. Can we shut it? I don't know if that will help keep the wolves away, but never mind. We'll do it. Um, okay. We need to get ourselves moving. What's the temperature? Flipping heck, it's cold. Okay. And I'm almost out of firewood, so we may be in a spot of bother here, folks. We may be in a spot of bother. Our condition is really, really low. We can obviously revert to the last... Uh, well, we can revert back to the last checkpoint, I think, which I assume is going to be that last cutscene, but... I really don't want to do that, because that isn't how we play the Long Dark. The Long Dark is normally permadeath, so... I'm trying not to die if I can avoid it. Oh, brilliant. There's another wolf. Just what we didn't need. It's the last thing that we need right now. Okay, let's have a quick look at the map. Okay, so we are obviously... Uh, we've just crossed the bridge, and we are... Uh, going, we've gone round here, so we kind of, yeah, we kind of need to keep following this road, I think. Possibly, I'm not sure, but I've just got to watch out for that wolf. Fancy tussling with it, but it seems to be around this ridge, rather than off over there. Be really annoyed if it turns out this isn't the right place. Oh, I've got another wolf. Can we get up here? Can we cut the corner a little bit? Okay. Okay, wolf is chasing rabbit. Rabbit, that rabbit. It's acting as a nice distraction. I need sticks. There's a hunting lodge. That looks very much like a building. One that we need to try and approach from an odd angle to avoid the wolves. So they are all the way round here. I assume as soon as we go inside we're going to have a cutscene, an encounter with an NPC. Or we're going to encounter what's left of some NPCs. I'm not quite sure which. But let's get ourselves inside this building. This is a really nice building, actually. Let's get ourselves inside. Looks like 
this might be where those eco terrorists were hiding in. Let's see if they left anything useful. Okay, so there are no NPCs here. Well, they don't appear to be. Uh, looks like this is pretty much empty. Search the, hun the lodge for survive. Something here could save your life. Look for more info about the forest talkers at the Old Hunting Lodge. Okay, so we've got a couple of things to do here. I need to know if the hypothermia would have killed me. Something here could save your life. We've got a rifle ammunition, we've got a rifle cleaning kit. We actually have a fireplace and a stove that we can use. We've got a fire log, we'll have that. And we shall have the accelerant. We shall sort ourselves. I think we're going to potentially base ourselves here for a little bit. Uh, we have peanut butter, we have cooked rabbit. Storm lantern I'm going to leave because I already have one right at the moment. So we have another fire log. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, I know, we're carrying an awful lot here, but we want to collect everything we can. And I assume with it saying something here may save your life. I don't know whether that's kind of a subtle hint that there is something specific here that we're meant to find. I mean, it hasn't really given us a specific goal to go anywhere or, or head anywhere. Okay, there's a staircase leading up. So is this a... Oh, this is a... Going down. Okay. Let's bring out the storm lantern. Okay, so what we got down here then? We have got a flashlight. Okay. What's that? Oh, okay. Can see. Battery's probably dead. Still, let him in handy at night. Okay. They hate the light. As you explore the world, you may discover that some electrical tools that have been inert since the first flare, like flashlights, are brought to life by the strange rural lights in the night scale. The flashlight can help you find your way in the darkness. It may also have unexpected effects on the wildlife. So, I think... What? <laughs> okay. Uh, a phone appears to be ringing. Did anyone else hear that? Mildly confused. Somebody else did hear that, right? That wasn't just me hearing things or my computer playing funny sounds at me. There was a phone ringing there, wasn't there? Oh, a rifle that I completely missed. Not much for guns. After what I've been through lately. Better to be safe than sorry. Well, that I suspect is the thing that will save our lives. The rifle and the flashlight. Actually, I think it's probably referring to the flashlight, to be perfectly honest. Now, I definitely heard a phone ringing. I'm trying to figure out if that was in the game or if that was my computer deciding to do something silly. This won't open. So I assume at some point that's got a part to play. Uh, what's over here? What do we have here? Water. Forest talker map note. Okay, I meant to read that and I completely didn't. So let's just uh, pop back into the journal, pop back into here and see if we can just find that note again and just examine it. Meet up at the abandoned hunting lodge on the outskirts of Mystery Lake Park. GPS coordinates unreadable. We have to stop the Brayhouse House corporate expletive deleted. Okay, so. A rifle cartridge. We have some gauntlets. Okay, they may come in useful. Anything? Whoops. Okay, before I go sort of absolutely hunting for everything, we've got a mountaineering rope here. Before we go absolutely hunting for everything, let's. Uh, Let's go upstairs and have a look upstairs because I'm still thinking there may be some NPCs lurking in this building. Feels like a lot of gear. Yeah, I know we are carrying quite a lot at the moment, so we shall have to be a little bit selective. But I want to see if there's anybody still lurking around in this building before I go any further. So let's have a quick explore. Plus, I want to find the source of that ringing phone. I'm really confused about that. 
I'm starting to wonder if that was something else that was ringing, not not the long dark, but it was definitely coming through my headphones. Okay, we've got a trunk here. Anything in the trunk? This will come in handy. Okay, we'll take those. We'll have a we'll have an assess of what's in here before we uh, before we think about going anywhere else. Okay, so nothing up here, so we seem to be okay. So, okay, I'm a bit confused. S still, what? Oh, okay, here's a phone. So there is a phone box here, but I can't open it. I wonder if I've got to wait for that to ring again before I can do anything with it. Hmm. Let's just have a quick look at these missions again. I'll get back to Jeremiah. Okay. So it has updated. We found what we were looking for, which I assume is a rifle. And our new mission is to get back to Jeremiah. So before we do that, though, I think we need to have a, a sort through what we've got and get ourselves organised. So what I think we're going to do, then, let's... Uh, now we're fairly sure there's nobody else lurking in here. Let's do a bit of a looting run. So we've pretty much looted up here, I think. So thirsty, I can't make okay, we can drink. That's fine. There we go. Uh, right, so we have herbal tea. We have several herbal teas, actually. Uh, we have some newsprint, which I'm going to pick up for the time being. Let's have a look upstairs and see what we've got up here, because it didn't look like there was very much... So let's start in here. We have the trunk with nothing in it. Obviously we have a, a usable bed, which I think we'll be using before we head back. We've got a rifle cartridge. I think I can use this. And some clothes. Right, so that's that one. Not much in here. Let's have a nosy in here. Not a great deal in this one, but lots of things. Very, very nothing. Okay, let's have a look in this one. Again, we've got sewing kit and another rifle cartridge I have a feeling we're going to end up having to make use of that rifle we're going to pick these work boots up because I'm going to do a little check I have a feeling we're going to have to make use of this rifle when we get back outside again with the wolves and whatnot. ok so could end up being useful ok we'll take that bandage another bandage, we need those because I have run out and that looks to be about it, so that's about it for upstairs so let's head downstairs and we have salty crackers, we picked up a fair bit of food in this uh, hunting lodge it's a nice little building this and um, I have done a little bit of an experiment by the way with uh, survival sandbox Milton is not a location that you can choose. Oh, my uh, storm lantern's about to run out of fuel. Uh, Milton is not a location that you can choose, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame, but you can perhaps see why with the, uh, the, the, the significant story element to it and all of that. You can maybe see why. Um, let's just refuel my lantern. Uh, so, yeah, I can perhaps see why that is, but it's not a playable location, unfortunately, for um, Survival Sandbox, which is a bit of a shame, but... Uh, this region, Broken Railroad, is it is a playable location. You can get here in Survival Sandbox. I haven't done it as yet, but you can get here. It is joined to Forlorn Muskeg. Uh, so you can get over here. So uh, this would actually be shells, quite a nice location. I think that mountaineering rope must be here for a reason. So I'm going to have to try and hang on to that if I can. I think we have pretty much gathered everything we've got down here. This won't open. It won't allow me to open it. So I don't know whether we're going to end up coming back here or doing something here. I don't know, but uh, we shall see. Let's extinguish my storm lantern then, because I think we've pretty much 
done everything we need in here. So, we have an awful lot of stuff that we're carrying around with us. So, let us do a little bit of housekeeping. Which I think is probably going to bring us to the end of the video. So, let's sort ourselves out a little bit and drop anything that we don't need. Um, we're having to travel fairly cautiously and fairly lightly because we don't have a massive amount of... Um, ability to leave things behind. So I'm going to ditch those two sewing kits. Um, I actually have a fair few tinder plugs so we don't need any of those. So I'm going to drop all of that. Um, I've got four accelerants. I am going to keep them. But I'm massively overweight so I'm really going to watch this. Um, the, let us get rid of one of those antiseptics. We don't need to be carrying that now. We're, ooh! Okay, we've got some ruined clothing here, so we need to do something about that. That's not going to necessarily be a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Oops, didn't mean to press that. Uh, okay, let's just come into clothing and put on our second pair of trousers. Uh, have a quick look at our gloves. They are better, so I'm going to swap to those. What about our boots? Uh, worn work boots versus ragged trail boots. Work boots are better, so I'm going to pop those on. Um, I can't imagine anything... Oh, interestingly, that's better than... Will. Oh, Will's coat's at 2%. I have only just realised that. Okay, can we repair it? Let's just see if we can repair... Anything for a drink right now. Okay, we haven't got any more cloth to repair it anymore, but we've got a bit more on it now. That's at 40, that's at 35. Let's just drop back into our backpack. Things are looking slightly better now, so let's drop things that we are not wearing. Okay, that's reduced us by a fair bit chunk of weight. Now, we are carrying a fair bit of... Oh, Okay, let's drop that. I'm not going to risk that. Um, we might be able to eat and drink our way out of some of our weight issues here. And also firewood as well. Those fire logs, I know, are quite heavy, so we'll probably burn those fairly quickly. We need to make some more water. But of course, that adds weight, so that's a bit of a tricky one. Uh, right, what are we carrying in our tools? Uh, bedroll we kind of need. Bolt cutters came in very handy, but they are quite heavy. Um, I can't really afford to lose any of this, to be perfectly honest. But I need to shed 12 kilos of weight. Unless we can just risk trekking it with the weight. We might might just risk it, actually. Carrying quite a bit. We can lose four kilos by burning these two fire logs, so that'll probably help us quite a bit. So I think we're gonna do that. Yes. Okay. So current mission then is to get back to Jeremiah. Uh, so that's gonna be the plan. We're gonna get back to Jeremiah and uh, see what Jeremiah has to say. We've got quite a long trek ahead of us though, because we're gonna have to go all the way back across Broken Railroad, all the way back across Forlorn Muskeg. And then all the way back across Mystery Lake. So it's a long, long way to go. We're going to have to do that in several stages. So I think the next thing we're going to do is probably head back out of the railroad, uh, back towards the tunnel to head to Forlorn Muskeg. We'll see if we can camp there somewhere. Uh, and then we'll carry on across Forlorn Muskeg uh, and back to Mystery Lake. So it's going to be a bit of a trek here. But hopefully we can... Uh, we made it one way. I'm sure we can make it back the other way. Uh, so apologies if this one's been a little bit disjointed. I was completely thrown right at the beginning by the Aurora and trying to play Dodge the Light Source and all that kind of stuff. That threw me a bit. I wasn't expecting that. But that was quite a cool effect. So we knew the Aurora was going to be in there and it was pretty cool. So we are going to say thank you very much for watching. Our condition is a bit low so we'll have to sleep here a bit before we, uh, before we move on to get our condition back up before we uh, risk going outside. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. In the next video we'll uh, sort ourselves out here. We'll warm ourselves up. We'll get our condition back up and then we shall begin our trek back to jeremiah we've got a heck of a long way to go um so hopefully we can make it we're gonna have to there's a supply cache there uh, we're gonna have to make our way the whole way back over here the whole way down here back over this way and back towards 
Jeremiah. It's a long, long way to go. But we're going to start that next video. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching as always. And I shall see you again very, very soon.